what's up YouTube so here's my HBI trophy buggy flux so I'm planning of doing a quick upgrade on it and I would like just to show you how I'm doing it uh, it's some tricky situations especially if you're new to this and haven't done it before so there's some few tips and tricks so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade the original motor pinion here Let's see if I can focus this is the original one, it's um, on 15 uh, teeths and I'm gonna upgrade it to the one with 17 teeths so I'm gonna upgrade with two additional teeths um, here's the part that I'm gonna use it's a Robinson Racing Products it's a 5mm 1.8 scale uh, pinion uh, with uh, 17 uh, teeths so uh, Let's uh, pop the hood here now. And the pinion that I'm gonna uh, replace is located right over here. So here's the, the motor pinion. And uh, it's, I mean, as you can see, located on the brushless motor here on my HPI. So what I'm gonna need to do now in order to replace it, I have to remove the receiver box together with the steering servo here. And in order to do that, we have just need to use a two and a half, or maybe a two millimeter hex, just up here, just to unscrew this one, and just plug this this arm up here, this plastic part. And once you have done that. If we turn in the car here, we have four screws. This one right over here, this one right over here, this one, and also this one. So uh, we are now finally ready to put on the the um, 17 teeth uh, pinion here now. And I mean the biggest tip now because there are i mean i have done it myself several times i'm just you know replacing it i'm just putting it on and try to screw in that that little screw there and then when it's towards the central diff gear here it doesn't work it just takes stop the car won't won't uh, uh, turn around all the way so what happening is and what what you should think of now is you should have the flats, as you can see here, the flat side towards you, towards this little uh, hole here, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, so you take your new pinion here, you put it on here, make sure to have the flat side towards you on the motor pin, and see if I can do this while I'm shooting. You should put it all the way in and turn this so it's here now i can use my fingers here and i can screw it around and so when it's turning around all the way you know it's working because otherwise it would stop just a quarter turn or something like that or when, when you're setting this um, together don't squeeze it um, too much all right so now you can see everything is back together we have the receiver box in place the steering servo so make sure to have the wheels in place press this press this one down here all right youtube so everything is in place you can see it's um rolling nice here and has a good grip here the pinion towards the the middle lift and uh, yeah, I really recommend this as basically the first upgrade that you do to this RC car. Um, good luck and uh, please post if you have any, any comments. Cheers.